I have kind of a a like slash love hate relationship with Disney. Well, it's not really a relationship. It's just how I feel about them. I like a lot of the products that um, Disney puts out there for us. But as a company, I'm not their biggest fan at all. I do not like the ethics of the company. I think they've gotten way too big. I don't appreciate them in a lot of ways. So it's kind of like this, this weird sort of battle going on inside me when I think about Disney. There are a lot of Disney films that I really do like and I liked a lot of the older animated films. I like a lot of the newer stuff that they put out. Um, I'm not liking the direction that I'm seeing some of their franchises go like with Star Wars. I think the MCU is just going to be pretty much all downhill at, from, from here on out. I think Avengers was the, the Avengers Endgame was the peak of their greatness as far as the MCU goes and I don't like the direction it seems to be heading with the whole Captain Marvel nonsense and and just it's just well that's a topic for a whole a whole other video but I'm not real thrilled with them in general I definitely have not been impressed with the live action releases I haven't really even gone to see them but from the trailers it's just it just feels like it's just a huge cash grab well, that is what it is. It's not that it feels like it. That is what it is. But I did not even know, or if I did, I forgot that they were making a live action version of Lady and the Tramp. Now, I really liked the animated movie of this. I do not know that I will go to see this. I probably will not. Man, this, oh, it's coming out on Disney Plus. It's not even coming out in, in, the, uh, in the theaters. Okay. Okay, well, whatever. I was going to say, I probably won't go see it because I haven't gone to see any of the others, but I was curious to check out the trailer because I've seen this movie so many times. Um, well, it's been a while, but I watched it a lot because dogs, I mean, come on, it's dogs. Who doesn't love dogs? Well, maybe some people don't, but anyway, whatever. Let's not trust those people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so I'm, I, I would like to check out this trailer. So let's do that. Well, this is just like the movie. Dogs are so cute. I love dogs. Let me guess. You're like the center of your people's universe, right? Indeed. Well, I've got no Oh, that little face. Our fences. Oh. With me, every day could be an adventure. I don't remember a boat being in the... I don't care, this is totally new, that part. It's the night, beautiful night, and they call it Bella Norte. Sorry. Okay, so it is it is an original film. Well, let's see who's in here. Wait, let me I didn't catch those names. It went by so quickly. Get back over there. F. Murray Abraham and Sam Elliott and Tessa Thompson. I think those are the only names I recognized. Anyway, it it, it seems to me that maybe out of all of the live I don't know why this one's not coming to the theaters. Because this one looks the best out of all the ones I've seen so far, as far as the trailers and stuff. Um, I mean, and dogs are always a, a really big draw for, well, I guess it depends. But I would think that this one would be, oh, maybe Ken, I think I recognize Ken too. I'm sitting here studying the names while I'm talking. Uh, it's, it's confusing to me why they're not bringing this to the theater. I, I mean, I guess they have their reasons, but... Um, yeah, that, that actually looks pretty dang cute because dogs, you know, I kind of wish that 
that they had well no it's not all animated I'm, I'm sorry I'm thinking about you know like with the Lion King it kind of annoyed me that they got an entire new cast I think what they should have done and I've said this from the beginning ever since I saw the trailer that they should have just taken the original sound the original voice tracks from the original movie and just animated to that because Everybody in the original movie was perfect. And the voices that they chose for the new movie were decidedly unimpressive to me. Except for, I mean, James Earl Jones, of course. So, at first, I thought Lady and the Tramp was going to be all digital animation of everybody. But apparently it's not. There are humans involved. So, actual humans. So, yeah, I can see, you know, that my idea wouldn't feasibly work. It would probably work for the for the um, you know for the animals but maybe not since this doesn't look quite so cartoony you know as a cartoon so anyway yeah this this looks like it's it's pretty cute I think my daughter would actually really love this she lo she loves dogs um, so perhaps at some point when it becomes available to people who are not Disney Plus streaming customers this might be the one and only live-action Disney <laughs> film that I'm I might actually check out and it's just because it's it's a dog movie and it's kinda hard to go wrong with dog movies for me because they're so cute anyway I mean you know, I like dogs I have four of them so I like them a lot and they're cute her little face was just adorable okay I could go on about that that's enough I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna sign off and to say again, to try this again, if you like my content, if you want to keep in touch with or be notified of my new videos as they come out, I generally release two a day. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and let's strike up a conversation about movies and good stories because I love to talk about that. I mean, my work revolves around stories, and so I have a great love for well-written stories. And that's the whole reason I really even started doing this, because it's an outlet to talk about it with other people. Not that I don't have people in my real life, you know, that I can talk about it with, but I kind of want to broaden that scope and talk about it with more people. So anyway, that's enough of the rambling for now, and I am signing off. Adios.